Ahem, <clears throat> jelly beans. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Who is that? Hello everyone, Shrugged. And we're actually playing some Portal 2. Um, okay, I'll, it's been a while, first. And second, I listened to last recording and I sucked ass. I mean, I didn't comment nor react well, to, to anything that was going on, even funny Cave Johnson lines. I, I sucked so much, man. Okay, so apparently we're starting a test with gel. And, uh, there's gel there, and there's the flow. It's pretty great. I'm gonna try to comment a bit more on things that are happening. You are here. There are like uh, 75 uh, test chambers going on. I'm in a big ball, giant ball of doom and sadness. No, that's P calls. <laughs> okay, whatever. Gel flow. So, uh, remember, aperture science portal quantum tunneling device. Okay, I think I have one. Uh-oh. Well, that could be problematic. Okay. Repulsion gel. I think that's what was advertised to me as something that was fun, but whatever. Was a purchaser's first attempt to create a dietic pudding substitute. What? <laughs> a pudding. I like pudding. Well, I'm, actually, that's not true. I don't eat pudding a lot. Like, I... I'm indifferent to pudding, I guess. Okay. So I take it, I can do this. Okay, that's fun. What's this thing? Exit. Okay, I can go up there with that. Maybe I should make it visible, I don't know. Of course that wouldn't hold. How dumb would you be to think so? Well, how can you go to the exit? Oh, I see. Oh man, I'm gonna get used to such techniques. I really need to get used to those techniques, man. That's that's gonna be a problem. Thing puzzles are gonna involve well, this Apple thing. The has just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. Yeah, that's a good idea, Cave. Okay, got there. Also, I didn't test my thing, but there's a cut head and the arm is on the other side. That's pretty great. Jump. Jump. And move it all around. Okay. I like those things here. I don't know why. Okay, let's move on. Thank you. Next ch chamber this way. But I'm going this way instead. Well, the problem is... Whoa. I am a giant sphere of doom. Is there any gel down there? No. Okay, so now we got a problem. And quite a good one as well. So, okay, there's a platform there. What would be the other one? Oh. <laughs> it was too simple, was it? Was it? Okay, so where do I need to go from here? Okay. There we go. The next test For chamber. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Whoa. They're pretty violent there. <laughs> okay, that's how you do it. Whoa. 
That's kind of... Whoa, that's... Whoa. I sound like JB now. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of brutal. Okay, I think I know what I need to do here. Whoa! That was brutal. That wasn't supposed to happen. Alright. Stay on the thing, Mr. Thing. Alright, what did that do? I activated this. Okay, it's for the gel, okay. This is clever. Whoa. Uh, I gotta get used to that, folks. <laughs> it's really, really twisted. And what? I missed. And and all right. Whoa! Oh man, that is twisted. You can't imagine. How would you do this? Okay, that's to wall jump. That is some twisted action, I gotta tell you guys. You can wall jump in this game. We're not in Mario. We got him in Mario Sunshine right there. Or well, Mario 64 had that feature as well. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why would you do that, Rock? Oh, let's wall jump again. Actually, I think I'm gonna cut that. I realized in my LPs I needed to start cutting more. Oh wait, the wall jump is automatic. I thought I had to jump to make it happen. But I think it's automatic. Let's try it. Yeah, it is totally automatic. Well, that makes things interesting. But where do I need to go with that? Okay, it activated something in the other room. I'm gonna try and go see what happens in that room. Can you stop bouncing? Thank you. Okay, that's one there. Okay, it's to get to the exit. Fair enough. Um. Ah, wait. Let's just go there. Wing. That gel. <laughs> oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Oh! So it's gonna just eat all the food in the, in the, uh, in the human body? Actually, it's gonna leave the food there, but eat the bones. So as a result, you would be made of uh, some kind of plastic material, like when Harry lost his bones uh, after the Quidditch game when Ghidorah Lockhart uh, did Brachium Emendo on him. So this gel is now called Brachium Emendo. Now you got a name, <laughs> Brachium Emendo. All yeah. these science spheres are made of asbestos by the way, keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> That's a good line. I punch those letters, uh, those, those in my calculator and makes a, a happy face. That, I like that. But yeah, um, that's sad. Man, I wanted to play Canasta. 
I'm not actually good at Canasta, but whatever. Is that a bridge? Can I cross on that? I bet that's what you have to do too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop playing like a moron, please. That would be appreciated. Okay, let's see. Where's the next test? Exit. Oh, I can zoom, right? Why would it help to go out there, though? I need to find an angle from which I couldn't see before the place that I can go right now. I'm thinking up there, but there doesn't seem to be a way from there to go to exit. Man, I'm gonna get stuck on <laughs> on a single place for 24 minutes again. Because yeah, I tell you that that happened in the wasteland last episode where I do nothing at all. It's pretty great. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any place I can put my thing on up there. Actually, it doesn't look like a place I could go to, but that looks like one. <coughs> the problem is I could probably teleport up there from earlier and so I'm taking that it's not the place where I want to go. Is that it though? Man! I'm always left under the impression that I suck <laughs> whenever something like that happens. But yeah, um, I take it that you guys also were probably um, searching for that as well. So I might not be as dumb as I might make it to be. Oh, I can shoot from here. Is it something that I want? Ah! Invade the thing with things and also thing. I didn't time myself, so I don't know when to stop as well. But I'll meet you when I find when I find something at last, because that's ridiculous. Okay, guys, I just found something. It's up this pit over there. Let's go see what's out there. Oh. Okay. Aha! Gotcha! I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. <laughs> Of course, ramps are. Whoa. I had this weird feeling uh, that if a bubble falls on my head, it means death. But I can't prove that theory yet. Where do I need to go anyway? Uh. No, it's okay. I'm just covered and... Yeah. So my bones are escaping. You know what? Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. Oh, though that does that doesn't work there. There's a problem there. I think I gotta put one there. 
Except it's too close. Whoa! You know what, let's cover the whole floor in this. Okay, that way. Uh. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I needed to do. There we are. Haha. <laughs> that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Yeah, I don't mind about it, but Calcium isn't that one of those things when you put in the water uh, it just starts flowing everywhere I think calcium is one of those Anyways um, Next time after Cave Johnson's speech uh, We'll move on I guess I hope that was less boring But yeah, Sraga sign out, see you soon